Welcome back uh, to with you, series of videos uh, starting with the uh, move bishop c4, also known as the Italian, and uh, in this chapter we will analyze knight f6, d3, bishop e7. Uh, this is also a very popular line for black, and uh, besides bishop c5, it's the one of uh, the most solid lines in the whole system. Uh, now white castles, which is natural move, and uh, black also castles. Rook e1. White is now preventing move d5 because the pawn on e5 is hanging. d6, and uh, here the important move is a4. In case of c3, black would play knight a5, and after bishop b5, a6, bishop a4, b5, we would enter the same position uh, like one from uh, the real opus. And move a4 is keeping this bishop on the a2 g8 diagonal and also white gains uh, space on the queen side. Later he wants to play move a5 and uh, if possible a6. After a4 black has uh, many options and uh, the most popular is bishop e6. Lately, a lot of players started to play king a8 with the idea of knight g8 and f5. So we will try to cover all these moves. First, knight d4, which is not a good option for black. After knight takes d4, e takes d4, c3, d takes c3, knight c3. This is a typical reaction for white. Uh, here black can choose c6 or bishop e6. On c6 white plays queen b3 and uh, he creates pressure on pawn on b7 and also on f7. So black cannot move his bishop from c8 and the rook from f8. He plays knight g4 with idea knight e5. Now d4. Bishop h4, attacking the f2 pawn, g3, defending the pawn and attacking the bishop on h4, now queen f6, rook e2. White again defends the pawn on f2, queen g6. Uh, white now cannot take on h4 because of knight e3 and uh, queen g2 mate, but he can play f3 and after knight h2, Rook takes h2, bishop g3, rook g2. His uh, king is safe. Now black's best move is bishop h3, attacking this rook. But white just simply defends the rook. Queen c2, bishop takes g2, and queen g2. Now white has uh, two pieces for rook, and uh, he has a very good center and a bishop pair. So this gives him uh, an advantage. Black indeed has uh, two pawns for uh, the rook two pieces, but uh, as I said, uh, white is better here. Instead of c6, black can play bishop e6, and here queen b3 again, bishop takes c4, d takes c4, and uh, white is better. This pawn is hanging, and uh, white has a space advantage, later he can play a5, and uh, his bishop is better than the one, this one on the e7. Uh -huh. Now, instead of knight d4, black can also play bishop g4, h3. If black takes on f3, then just queen f3, and if knight f Knight d4, queen d1, next move is c3, white obtain a bishop pair, and uh, he has a slight advantage. So, bishop h5, c3. Now, if uh, queen d7, then white simply plays knight d2 with idea knight f1 and knight g3. Rook f8, rook f8, knight f1, h6, knight g3. Bishop g6 and knight h4, bishop h7, queen f3. 
This is one of the typical ideas for white to play with knights, especially with this bishop on h7, which is really badly placed. Next move is knight f5, and uh, white here is much better. After c3, black can play d5, but after he takes d5, knight d5, here is interesting for white to include move a5. And in case of a6, g4 is possible, but also si and taking the pawn on e5, but also simple knight d2. And late now white wants to play queen b3, attacking the pawn on b7 and knight on d5, unpinning the queen and also attacking the pawn on e5. So bishop g4 is not a very good option for black. h6. Black's idea is to play knight h7 and knight g5. Uh, here white has a couple of choice, good choices. I think the a5 first is the best move. a6, c3, knight h7, d4, knight g5, and d5. Knight b8, knight b2. Now white has won a lot of space on the queen side. His idea is to play b4, return his bishop to d3 or f1, and then play c4, c5, or include bishop a3 first. And uh, black tries to play again on the king side with f5. So, king h8, b4, and uh, here I think white is better. Now, instead of h6, black uh, can play king h8. And uh, this has become a very popular move. And it has been played by Anish Giri, who is a top 10 player, and uh, many other grandmasters. a5. White again gains space on the queen side and uh, a6 here. Black can react with rook b8 to prevent a6, but I don't see any other points of more rook b8. So a6, knight c3. Now, when black has moved his king to a8, it makes sense to put knight on c3 because after c3, uh, later. Black will obtain a good play, for example, c3, knight g8, d4, and f5. And this knight on b1 is not looking very great. So knight c3 first, and now in case of knight g8, knight d5, f5, c3. White wants to play d4 later. In case of f4, d4, g4, g5, with the idea of g4, I think h3 is a very good move, defending the g4. In case of g4, white just takes and plays queen d3, unpins his, unpins his queen, and uh, later he can play knight h2. And it will not be easy for black to continue this attack. On h3, black can play h5, but then just knight h2. And pawn on h5 is hanging, and in case of g4, Black is losing a pawn. Now, uh, instead of king h8, knight a5 is also a very popular move for black. Uh, black idea is to play c5. It's a similar idea from Rui Lopez. White plays bishop a2, c5, now c3. White wants to play b4 or d4, so knight c6, now knight a3. This is a little bit unusual place for the knight, but uh, White wants to have both options, knight c4 and knight c2. And knight on c2 is also very good because he supports both b4 and d4. Uh, after knight a3, black can play bishop, 
bishop a6, bishop takes a6, f takes a6, knight c4, and next move is bishop d2 and b4. Black can never play d5 because pawn on e5 is hanging. And uh, black again will try to do something on the queen side because he, f file is open and he will try to play queen e8 and queen g6. In the meantime, white uh, has to push the pawns on the king, queen side and play bishop d2, b4, b5, and uh, the, sometimes this attack on the from black side can be dangerous, but uh, if black white reacts good, uh, it shouldn't be so. Instead of bishop a6, white black can play first h6, but here white has a couple of good uh, useful moves. One is h3, and bishop d2 is probably the best move. And in case of bishop b6, now the same reaction we take. Knight e6, pawn takes e6, and knight c4, and the next move is b4. Now let's continue to the main position. Uh, and this is bishop e6. White, black develop uh, his last piece, and uh, he wants to play queen d7, connects his rooks, and uh, we can see that this is the most logical move in this position and possibly the best one. Knight bd2. Bishop c4 was not really some strategic threat, but uh, white needs to play some useful move. And uh, since anyway he will play c3 and knight d2, he must start with some move. So knight d2. Queen d7, c3. White wants to play b4. And he also creates a square b3 for his queen. It depends what will black play, so in case black plays rook a d8, then b4 is a very strong move. And after a6, b5, white has already gained the space on the queen side and uh, he's better. The main move after c3 is rook e8. And now usually players with white pieces play b4. And after a6, game continues. Queen b3, rook d8, or b or d5, which is maybe even more precise. He takes d5. Uh, knight d5 with some unclear position. Because white can never take on e5 because later bishop f6 and pawn on c3 is hanging. But instead of b4, I would uh, suge suggest here a new move, and this is queen b3. Uh, white creates pressure on e6 and on b7. In case of knight a5, white just takes bishop b6. And after queen e6, queen e6, he has already one space on the queen side. Many ways to continue. Knight b3 is interesting. Also, a5 is interesting. So, knight a5 is not a very good option. The best is probably the move a6. Now, White cannot play queen b7 because after knight a5 he is losing a queen. Instead he should play bishop takes e6. And now after if f takes e6. After queen takes e6 I think uh, it, this is not good for black because uh, black should uh, aim to keep the queens on the board. Especially with this pawn structure. His main idea is to create counterplay on the king side and now he has no counterplay b4 d5 is rarely a good option because then these pawns double pawns will always stay like this and white can play knight b3 and uh, later decide where to put his bishop on e3 or a3 later play h3 to prevent knight g4 and rook b1 and b5 
So after bishop takes e6, knight takes e6, knight c4, uh, white prevents d5 and uh, he activates this bishop. He wants to play later h3 and bishop e3 and possibly d4 or to try to create some pressure on the king, queen side. This is also not a very good, pleasant position for black because it's not easy for him to find some uh, plan. If he goes on the king side, then the pawn on e6 may be weak and also pawn on b7. Uh, after queen b3, uh, black can also take bishop takes c4, knight takes c4, knight d8. Now knight e3, knight e6 and queen c2. And white wants to play d4. Uh, he, here he is, he is slightly better, which is typical for this type of positions, because he has a square f5. And in case black jumps with his knight on f4, he always needs to be careful because of the bishop from c1. So this is the main difference between black and white position, is this bishop is still slightly better than this one. Instead of bishop c4, black can also play b6, but after b bishop takes c6, f takes c6, knight c4, things haven't changed a lot, and uh, now white even wants to play a5, and if black plays a5, then again his uh, white squares are weakened, and uh, white can play slowly h3 and bishop a3. So oh, this is it for this line, thank you for watching and uh, we shall continue. Hi, this is Grandmaster Damien Lemos. First of all, I hope you enjoyed um, this video. If you would like to receive more free chess videos from us, you can just click the subscribe button below. I would also highly recommend signing up for my free mail course, The 10 Grandmaster Secrets to Dominate Chess. During this exclusive course from OnlineChessLessons.net, I'll share with you my own Grandmaster shortcuts to effective attacking, defending and growth hacks to improving your chess without uh, complicated books or memorization. So sign up by clicking the sidebar on the right and I know you won't be disappointed. Once more, this is Damien uh, for OnlineChessLessons.net and I'll see you uh, in my videos. Thank you.